In here, there is a fascinating article that talks about a subatomic particle here, and this subatomic particle, which requires a huge amount of detectors and these designs which are not quite efficient in terms of capturing this particular amount of neutrinos they need to be able to be effectively designed and somehow taken advantage of according to some ideas that is becoming popular which is how about we use trees and you're like hmm do trees actually detect neutrinos um According to this article, there are a lot of things that this particular result here can help scientists to accomplish and there might be some drawbacks in terms of environmentalists in terms of accomplishing this and how long-term research can possibly help to understand how this maybe symbiotic relationship between the newly designed neutrino detectors can be integrated into trees to be able to harness this amount of neutrinos detection technique that will help scientists to understand these particular neutrinos as they transform down the road to radio waves and so pretty much what this article is essentially saying is that trees can help to detect radio waves and this here will be important here when it comes to creating a new design for neutrino detectors and so in here according to this first part here it says that trees could act as natural antennas that will pick up radio waves that are produced by certain interactions of the difficult to detect subatomic particles and so in here furthermore it we look closely here it talks about how building such enormous detectors from scratch is a really major hurdle and this article talks about different types of neutrino detectors that are out there like for example here it says that the ice cube neutrino observatory that searches for neutrino interactions using a cubic kilometer of arctic uh, an Arctic ice and the cubic kilometer neutrino telescope that is the KM3 NET that is currently under construction will search for neutrinos interacting in the Mediterranean Sea. So these are a couple of applications of these particular neutrino detectors here and this here needs to be designed to detect high energy neutrinos which are difficult to accomplish here but now there are a couple of new ideas coming up here with regards according to this article to this particular process now to study how neutrino actually has a higher energy according to this article here it says here that this neutrino particle variant that we're going to be looking at is called the tor neutrino and now when this neutrino passes inside the earth it can interact and produce a particle called a tor lepton and this particular lepton when it escapes from the ground into earth's atmosphere it decays and this can produce showers of charged particles that generate radio waves now to detect these radio waves scientists have proposed detectors such as the massive grand experiment um, which would use a total of 200,000 antennas that is divided into 20 separate arrays around the world and so if you look closely and clicking on the grand here is how it looks like according to this article here and the objective of the grant here is to what is to reach a sensitivity that will likely ensure the detector detection of actual phys, astrophysical neutron neutrinos with energies about 10 to the 17 electrovolts and this here is thanks to its sub angle angular resolution and it will launch neutrino astronomy at these ultra high energies now already by 2030 that is the goal the grant will have the potential to make the first discovery of these neutrinos and this also here is the largest experiment for the detection of an ultra high experiment energy 
cosmic ray and photons. Moreover, this year will explore fundamental neutrino physics and astrophysics of fast radio bursts and inox of reionization. So this is a lot of things that you can look out for, look more about in terms of how this works and uh, why now and a couple of interesting things we can look at down the road in terms of if you want to get a visual take on it. Here is a little bit of a visual on how this works here. It's pretty much cool. We can dive into this in future videos. But for now, let's move back to this particular result here concerning how this might be, you know, controversial in this way. And the controversy will come into play in terms of these many questions that says that in terms of the determining if the technique is plausible, and scientists will need to study how the tree performed for very high frequency radio waves, the range in which neutrinos detectors of this type operate, and traditional radio antennas can be precisely built, allowing a detailed understanding of how they respond to different types of radio signals. Now, trees, of course, can't be, for example, it's not clear how trees would respond to the polarization of the radio waves, the orientation of its wiggles, plus the effects of foliage and for the Sicilius forest, the seasonal dropping of leaves, and this here needs to be investigated. So. They have from now till 2030 to have this or uh, before 2030 to have like concrete data and surveying various locations where they're going to be implanting those particular devices to trees and those regions the indigenous peoples will they be able to make that collaboration possible and respect the land of these particular regions those are the things that scientists and groups will be able to have to really put that groundwork in there and build that trust you know for them to actually buy into this particular technique here that is going on as it is stated right here it states here that any impact the detector would have on the forest will also need to be understood like for example such a detector in here must be built in harmony with and with respect for nature otherwise this idea is not worth trying and how will species that are pretty much interacting with these particular types of trees how will they be uh, impacted by salt detectors when they are it stored as antennas on the trees so all these are really interesting fascinating things that are going to come in up not now but in the future based on how to detect neutrinos using trees radio waves let's know your thought about this particular article in the comment section down below the article here is also found in the description check it out and hope to see you all on the next one all the same stay smart as always and believe in yourselves